All right, this is great. We on uh, Cashflow Canucks today, we have Christine Zhu. She is uh, from Money Broker Canada and is uh, the leading alternative lender in Canada. And uh, Christine, welcome. Thank you, Peter. Christine, tell me a um, little bit about um, your business and what you do. And um, let's let's talk about because you're more than just a broker, right? But maybe just talk yeah. about the business at a high level, and then we can get dive into how you got into it. Okay, so maybe let, let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Christine Su. I'm a mortgage broker in Toronto for the past 21 years. So as a junior broker, when I just started, I know nothing about mortgage and I have difficulty obtaining my own mortgage at that time. So during the past 21 years, I've been uh, uh, transfer, trans, transformed from a, a brand new uh rookie broker to a, a very experienced mortgage broker. Um, I uh, Right now in the mortgage Canadian mortgage industry, I'm the uh, only person, I think, um, three times received the Alternative Mortgage Broker of the Year Award in Canada. And uh, so my main focus in, uh, in the mortgage world is doing alternative mortgage to help people who, who has difficulty obtained the regular financing from their banks to get their financing. And also um, we have a, a mutual fund trust uh, established, just try to do private mortgages. So we have two sides. Uh, one is the brokerage side. Um, by the way, our brokerage side, Money Broker Canada also received the uh, 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 finalist award for the uh, this year for Canadian Mortgage Award as, as the uh, finalist nominee. And uh, we um, we have also in our team the the uh, uh, the finalist for the uh, um, the uh, uh, sorry the underwriter of the year in uh, in Canada as a lender side. So we have a lender side, we have a brokerage side. Awesome. And are these uh, uh, the awards are they given out? I guess they're given out annually. Is it around this time of year? When is that happening? It was just yesterday, actually. Oh, it was so okay. It's a any any award, Canadian Mortgage Award, CMA award. Oh, awesome, awesome, very good. Um, and so, yeah, I guess you've been. Would you say you've been doing it for over twenty years now? Yeah, just past 20, 20 okay. years. And uh, what what uh, what got you into it in the first place? So uh, I was a self-employed uh, financial advisor at the time. My uh, ex-husband at the time was a self-employed lawyer. So we both are self-employed person. When we purchase our own home, we have lots of difficulties um, to uh, get the regular financing um, from, the, uh, from our own bank. So we met a mortgage broker and uh, we actually uh, obtained our mortgage uh, from the mortgage broker. So, so that time I didn't know there's uh, something exist as a mortgage broker. So I changed my career from a financial advisor in became a mortgage broker in year 2000. Very nice. And, and so what, um, and so you've been, you got licensed and then it's not just, you're not just mortgage broker, but now you're kind of the, the, the cream of the crop in terms of like being very successful and dealing with alternative lending. So is there a specific um, niche that you specialize in? When it comes to alternative lending, is it is it for investors? Is it for you know people just can't get financing at bank or what what uh, what specifically do you? Yeah, so alternative uh, financing, there's most of uh, applicants they are just like just like for myself, like a self-employed person. So self-employed, lots of people who making enough money to support a mortgage, support a home. However, they have very good accountants. They help them to uh, write off lots of costs. And um, so the the personal income is not very high. And if you go to your bank, the, the bankers only look at your tax return. They say, well, you, <laughs> John, you say you're making uh, 200,000, like operating a good business, but on your bank, bank in your tax return, you only have 50,000. So we cannot approve your mortgage. So one is the income income issue. And also uh, the other very common issue being uh, turned down by the bank is a credit issue. So so the uh, lots of self-employed people, they are, they are adventurous in doing, taking different business ventures. They may, uh, uh, if it's not a successful business venture, maybe damage their credit or they're using all their money to try to fund a business. So the 
the regular lender in the bank, so the credit requirement is getting a higher and higher. Most most self-employed people they require a six eighty uh, beacon score, so lots of people would would be turned down from the banks. So that's a major two issues. Very nice, and um, and then you uh, the other side of the business is the mutual uh, fund trust. Can you talk a little bit about about that? Um, yeah, so mutual fund trust, we um, uh, encourage people, I mean, we think that's the best best way for investors to invest. Um, people give us money. Uh, in, uh, in Ontario, we take investors as little as uh, $5,000. And uh, um, of course, we we like to have a credit investors as well. And so we have a mutual fund trust uh, fully regulated by uh, the Security Commission. And uh, we this trust, is established. The sole purpose is funding private mortgages. So um, sometimes not only you're not being uh, 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 turned down by your bank, um, you probably need private mortgage to try to uh, to bridge the uh, needs for the uh, financing. Say short term, you need to borrow say a hundred thousand from your home, but you have a, a a big mortgage with a bank with a very good rate. You may not need to break the mortgage. You not need to break the mortgage. We'll probably add a second mortgage in behind for the short term. So you may to buy the uh, the uh, supply inventory you need, and you can pay pay off quickly. So this this fund is uh, it. Sole purpose, the only investment is for mortgages. So it's very secure for the investors. And uh, for the uh, borrower, we are uh, very flexible. You can borrow money uh, anytime. And we usually fund it within a couple of days if we have a pre done. And you can return it. Uh, you can pay it back anytime as well. And so that gives, a, it gives an, a, um, I guess, the borrower many different options, not just outside of the bank, but the alternative lenders, is it, did it, would flexibility and um, maybe your rate get impacted as you go from the banks through the spectrum of lending from, you know, banks to alternative lenders to private lending? Yeah, so alternative lending, actually, we, we can see the two parts. One is also institution. Some alternative lenders are very big, uh, like the companies like a Home Trust Bank of Canada is a bank, uh, Equitable Bank of Canada is also a bank. They're, so those are two very well-known alternative to, to alternative lender. Community trust is huge, right? So they they are regulated by financial. Uh, uh, it is regulated by the uh, by the uh, fis uh, fiscal uh, by the the uh, banking industry as well. So they have to uh, qualify the borrower by their income as well. But the traded income is different than the regular bank. Instead of look at your notice assessment, they'll look at your overall pictures, right? So those, uh, the interest rate are very good. Right now, it's very similar to the Schedule A bank. So if you borrow uh, 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 a mortgage, right now the interest rate can be as low as only 2.59. For one year. The other one, the other side of alternative lending is private lending. So private lending, um, the lender do not really care about your income, um, do not really care about your credit. The only emphasize is your uh, your your asset, your house, like how much it worth, right? As long as they secure there's enough security there, they'll lend you the money. But from the private side, used to be it's very expensive, but right now it, the uh, cost is very low as well. The uh, because of the whole market interest rate is get, getting down, so the private funding can be as low as like five point nine nine, like less than six uh, percent. So and. Good thing for private lending, um, there's no requirement to qualify for you for anything with uh, credit with income, only uh, doing a pre or, or to the property. Right, so they wanna, they wanna have security to the property, potentially security to other assets that you may have um, to, and so at the end of the day, they're, they're good with that. And then what about um, things like construction loans, all that, does that, where does that, play into it. Can you get that through private lenders as well? Uh, lots of pri private lenders doing construction loan. For our uh, mutual fund trust, we do not do construction loan, only do it mortgages. Um, for lots of lenders, they are specialized for commercial loans and uh, the large large construction loans and uh, large uh, uh, commercial loans as well, um, industrial uh, commercial. I, as a mortgage broker, anything makes sense will get you the money. 
So if you can convince me you're able to replay and there's security there, I am able to get you the money. Right. No, fair enough. And then um, I guess going back to just talking about your success as a as a as your company as a mortgage broker, what you know, what do you think are key elements that have made you successful um, in this time? For myself, I always like to uh, like to uh, continue learning, and I always like challenges. So, being a, a broker for past twenty years, really, the uh, the uh, deals of people uh, excited me is is the way I can find a solution to help to help my uh, applicants help help our clients. So, um, for me, I always try to find solutions. Um, so anything that's why anything it makes sense, I'll try to find a way to uh, to work with it and also because i am being in the industry for so long and uh, i know most of lenders like uh, for for most lender we deal with i know their policy uh, very well inside out <laughs> so i know which deals go to uh, which lender so when people call me for a situation i uh, usually i can give them the reply instantly so nobody really had to wait for 5 days to getting a turn down or something i can like I'm a very straightforward person. I, I I don't like to sugarcoat anything. So I will ask your income situation, your credit situation, and uh, um, like tell me your story. Then I can t let you know right away. Um, yes or no, or maybe uh, maybe and why? What do you expect? So, um, I think most people coming to us uh, as a mortgage broker is they already have issues with the bank, so they really want someone to uh, give them advice, give them a guidance, and that's that's what I'm there for. So, um, the my whole company that's the same same uh, situation same training everybody who call us will give a very direct straightforward answer and let you know what to what to expect uh, how can we help you yeah no that's good i think i think that's so good such a good message for people to hear um whether or not your homeowner or your investor it, it's not a fixed result right working with someone creative like yourself um to be able to collaborate you, you you've had a lot of experience that knowledge has compounded in terms of sorry in terms of knowledge and contacts and and kind of knowing how to uh, to work with people to get them to a solution. You know, it's there's never just a it's never just a straight yes no. There's always alternatives. Yeah, um, yeah no, that, that's good. And what about your team? How do you how do you collaborate within your team? Are you you know do you um, different people different doing different tax tasks or different uh, different jobs or different ways of serving? people within your your group like yeah. uh, you're not yeah. doing all the work yourself. by myself no no we have a very good team actually we have a team of uh, 10 staff and uh, each deal we actually have uh, uh, a few team members to work with it so we have uh, like a sales team I say sales team like myself and another another person we call a sales team so we are both a very experienced we've been in the industry for past 20 years so any people will call us and talk tell us your, your situation, we can uh, recommend a solution. And then we have an underwriting team and then we have fulfillment team. So underwriting, we, we, we package your deal, and send it to a lender. And uh, fulfillment team is when the approval are coming back, of course, their documentation to follow. So we are very efficient. Some, some private deals, we can fund it next day because we have the, uh, everything is uh, uh, a process. Right. And um, so um, as a private mortgage, we can find it next day, of course, for institutional mortgage, usually uh, for the banks, they require uh, four to four to uh, like a three to four weeks. So a month to close it. So that's our team of the mortgage side. And also with the investment side, same thing uh, we have. Uh, our uh, talking about our mutual fund trust, ready capital um, uh, mortgage investment trust. All we do is funding private mortgages. So we have the underwriting uh, to see whether uh, the deal is secure. We want to see we got enough security, and to to make sure all the investment are secured. And also we uh, we have the uh, fulfillment side. We have working together with with, with a team of lawyers, so we can uh, fund the deal very quickly. Very nice. And, and you're, uh, I was going to say, you're based out of uh, Unionville, like for those who don't know, in, in Markham. Um, it, are there specific areas that you do business in uh, more so than others? Are you, you know, in, in the GTA? Are you all of Ontario? Are you across Canada? Where, 
where do you uh, specifically? Um, our mortgage brokerage is registered Ontario uh, registration. We're doing everything in Ontario. Of course, we have uh, brokers we, in the different uh, province in our country. With some, we can work together. But mainly, our uh, our strength is the Ontario mortgages. And for our investment set, Ready Capital, uh, we we can sell the investment uh, throughout the whole country. Um, I want to spend a little time talking about Ready Capital Mortgage Investment Trust. Um, it's unlike the regular MIC uh, mortgage investment co company, we are uh, a mutual fund trust, it's a security. So we are open to all investors, uh, uh, small investors to start in Ontario as little as $5,000. For other provinces, uh, the uh, minimum is $25,000. Uh, it can be a cash account, RSP account, and test saving account. And the returns uh, we give to investors, we target return is 8% plus. So every month, uh, we base on our target 8% return, we distribute our uh, interest to all investors. So if people need cash flow, so every month you will receive 8% uh, divided by 12. So if you invest 150,000, for instance, every month you're going to receive $1,000 in your account. So you can decide to uh, to have this thousand dollars that use as your cash, I mean, your you 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 can use it, or you we can reinvest for you. Um, so the compound interest return, the target return is eight point three percent, because the compound effect, right? So um, that's a, a very uh, 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 easy, uh, sorry, uh, flexible require uh, investment. Uh, we don't have a locking period, so people. Have money saved for instance, you're buying a condo, doesn't close until two years. You can put money in there and you can give us two months' notice to withdraw the, uh, the whole investment if, you, if, if, you, if the amount is less than a million dollars. If it's over a million dollars, give us three months' notice. You can withdraw the money. And all the income are considered uh, interest income. By the end of the year, we give you T3 slips. We don't do anything with the uh, uh, higher risk. So there's no capital gain. There's no dividend. Everything is investing in mortgages, it's interest income. Very nice. And um, are we going to say, like, those are those are some of the things to just for people to be aware of when they are investing, as I learned kind of putting my money into different investments over the years is, you know, the locked in period. That's so key. I've, I've had money that's locked in and it may take yeah. like literally six months to get the money out. Right. That's uh, that's maybe yeah. could, having control is, is so important. Liquidity. Um, the question I was going to ask you, I'd ask you two questions. Um, accredited. Do you have to be accredited to do it? Or, or no. not, doesn't sound like it, right? Yeah, so we are a, a mutual fund trust uh, distributes through a EMD. Uh, we have an offering memorandum, but we can take a smaller like investor who just start up savings, right? So we don't have to be a credit investor. So anybody who want to invest with us to start their investment, we, 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 we can uh, take the investment. So as little as $5,000 in Ontario. So right. yeah, you don't have and, to be a credit investor. And what about um, can you can you drip it? Can you reinvest yeah. that interest right back in? Right. Yeah. So this compounding dripping. Yeah. So the compounding if the compounding target the return is eight point three percent. So right. last we just finished our uh, audit for two thousand twenty. Uh, we have the audit financial statement. We we'll have our annual uh, and uh, AGM meetings just uh, a couple of weeks ago. So last year our total. Uh, return is 8.57 with a compounding with people who are taking a drip. Um, because as a mutual fund trust, where by tax regulation, by the year end, we have to distribute all our income to investors. So unlike the private uh, make, make, they can decide what to do with the extra money. But for our mutual fund trust, we have to distribute uh, every, every, uh, all the profit to all investors. Very nice. And, um, and so I guess that must have taken a while to, that's a whole nother thing in terms of just one being a, a you know, mortgage broker versus setting up a mutual fund trust. That must have been a, a lot of work to get that initially. Yeah, we have up. a, yeah, we have a, a 
different team doing that. We uh, we have our own uh, uh, the outside security lawyers of auditors, and then we have an administrator as well. And for us, because our strength is is the mortgage side, so we control every investment. So every deals uh, come in who want to borrow money, we go through very strict underwriting. Um, uh, as what we say. I think our fund giving the investors very good return, over 8% return. However, when we're lending out, because we have lending partners, we have a strategy. Our our private fund actually is right now is the cheapest in the country too. So our first mortgage, our interest rate is as low as 5.95%. And uh, second mortgage start with uh, 899 the the the, the uh, way we can do it with uh, giving investor more return, giving a borrower less money because we have a very good partner to work together with with our bundle strategy. Very nice, very nice, and that speaks to um, a lot of the work that you put in to to build it to this point. Um, I guess you know uh, what I wanted to to add to it is just um, you know. Um, I guess what did what is next for you? I mean, one is like what's is there anything that's changed in your business in the last year since you know pandemics taking place? And do you see anything um, in terms of has that changed how you're you're looking forward uh, going into coming out of the pandemic? Yeah. So for for us, uh, we think alternative lending is almost um, a become mainstream in the whole lending industry uh, for people who are uh, self-employed or even for employer people during the uh, pandemic especially lots of people received government support uh, lots of self-employed people have uh, tenant issue have their income being uh, greatly affected so lots of a qualified borrower become unqualified borrower from the from the bank. So for the alternative side, because everything is, is there's so much money available right now, and uh, really everything become uh, less expensive. So um, I want to tell the uh, uh, the uh, your audience <laughs> over there. If you uh, want to invest in, in real estate, I think re real estate investment is still the best investment. If you want to invest in real estate, don't be discouraged if your bank say no. Uh, uh, looking for mortgage brokers, looking for good mortgage brokers, most likely they can help you to uh, to uh, uh, fulfill your, your investment dreams. And um, um, don't think uh, private lending, alternative lending is a really uh, a scary place. It's not really the uh, the alternative lending. The interest rate is almost the same as a uh, uh, regular bank's lending, like start from two point two point five nine. So, um, just ask for advice, uh, uh, seeking out the uh, advice from mortgage broker. I think that's would be a, a very good advice. Oh, that's good. I think that's, you know, that's what I really preach in terms of the, for, with this group, it's um, the reason I created it was just to continue my learning and share that with others and, you know, enabling myself and being able to enable others, but it really comes through knowledge, right? Because I think we just do just because, oh, my parents got their mortgage at a bank, so I'm just going to do that. But mm -hmm. once you kind of peel back the onion a bit, there's a lot more alternatives out there. So, um, Christine, I really appreciate you sharing your Thank story you. and how you're helping um, Canadians and um, you know you're right in terms of investing in their their dream home or their investments or whatever that may be and um, even how you're helping them in terms of grow their wealth through your mutual fund trust as well so um, can you if you have any uh, final thoughts please share them and then if you can also tell people how they can get in touch with you Sure. Yeah. So alternative lending, I want to say the fin my final words. Lots of people think alternative lending is only for people who doesn't have enough income or doesn't have a good, good enough credit, which is uh, totally a myth. Uh, we're dealing with lots of very qualified uh, investors. So, so right now, if you only uh, multiple uh, properties, uh, sometimes more than four or five properties, it's very hard to getting uh, regular funding from the bank. But for alternative lenders, there's no limit. As long as you can dem demonstrate you have down payment, you are able to afford it, and we can get you a mortgage. And so, um, um, anything need to uh, need to uh, uh, have a good uh, conversation discuss. Um, feel free to reach out to me. So my name is Christine Su. If you Google me, Christine Su uh, Mortgages, I think I'm 
top Google first page you can find me. And uh, my company called Money Broker Canada. So it's moneybroker.ca. That's my website. You can find me. And uh, uh, readycapital.ca. That's our uh, mutual fund site. But yeah, find me. Give me a call. And uh, I'll return your call. Not right away, but within a couple of hours usually. Awesome. Thank you, Christine. Thank you.